Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. And in this video, we will be discussing about the past tense. That is passé composé en français. Past tense in French is considered to be the most difficult topic. But do you know it's very easy. How? Let's see. So when we are talking about the past tense in French, unlike English, it's not like I was. I was eating, I was reading, I was sleeping. But instead of that was, we have something different in French. So let's see how to actually formage the past tense in French. So in the past tense, we have to use two verbs. Mostly, we always use the verb avoir. So the rule is avoir plus participasse. For example, for example, the avoir verb, the conjugation of avoir verb according to the subject. Subject is je, tu, il, el, nous, vous, el, and el pluriel. So, according to these subjects, we use the conjugation of avoir. And then we use the past form of the verb. How we use the past form of the verb. So now let's see what is the past form of the verb in French. So the first is the ER verbs. So in ER verbs we remove the R alphabet, the ending of the word that is R. Like for example, parler, parler. So in this we will cut the R and we will put accent on the alphabet E. Yes, we will put ague. We will put ague on the alphabet E. So in the whole ER verbs, we do what? We cut the R and the radical is PAL, P-A-R-L-E. And then we put the accent. So let's see the examples. Like, je parle, I spoke. Or we can say, tu a mangé, you ate. Similarly, we can use and make and frame sentences like this. Coming towards the IR verbs. In the IR verbs, what we need to do? We need to cut the R and the radical will be F I N I, fini, if we take finir. So, like for example, finir verb and we will cut the R, it will be F-I-N-I, -I, fini. So, the conjugation of avoir plus the participase of the verb. So, avoir, I-R verb participase and when we make them, it is je fini me d'avoir. I have finished my work. Next is the third category that is the RE verbs. So in RE verbs we cut the RE for example attendre, attendre. So we cut the RE and we will put Q up instead of RE. For example j'ai attendu. I was waiting. So yes in a similar way we will be using the past tenses. So Subject which is je, tu, il, el, nu, vu, il, el, pluriel. Plus, we will be using the conjugation of avoir, and then I'll be using the past form of the verb. In this way, my past tense is formed. So, the next category with the past tense is the house verbs. In the house verbs, we use the etro verb instead of avoir. So, how we use this? So, here is the category of the house verbs. With these verbs, we always use etro. Yes, there is nothing different. We always use the conjugation of etro. Similarly, we use in the avoir. We will use the conjugation of etro with these verbs and we will use the participase of the verb. So, for example, here the example is reste. 
so for the verb i am using is reste so reste i will be i will cut r and put the accent on e and then i will conjugate it with etro but my way of forming the past participle will remain the same so here like this you can do the same with banil verb which is a exception yes so here we get the verbs which are full of exceptions after this video you will get the long list of the verbs which are exceptions with these verbs the our participle passe changes but in crux what we need to do is the verb that is avoir or être according to the subjects plus participle passe of the verb so i hope this uh, this can clear your doubts and of course i hope you and you have enjoyed this session and if you have any doubts any queries any questions so you can put in the comment section and please like and share this video thank you